Hello. So we here we here on the same day uh, of the unboxing series for Face Audio. I gotta I gotta come down a little bit like this. I gotta go do the splits because otherwise you don't see me. Um, so I just unboxed a whole palette. I don't know what it's called. A uh, crate? A no? A palette in Deutsch? Uh, a I knew what that was. Uh, fuck. A I remember whatever. A whole thing of stuff, and I'm going to do individual companies and show you what uh, they send and how it's gonna benefit me, and therefore, of course, you here on my channel. Um, I got a knife, and we're gonna do Bulldog Stands unboxing. I saw them at the trade show in Frankfurt, and I was like, hey, if you have really nice guitars and you wanna display them in your living room and just have a beautiful way to show you a high-end instrument, that's the shit. I mean, for some of you who have like, you know, 200, 300, 400 euro guitars, that stand will cost as much as your guitar, uh, the main bulldog stand. Uh, but if you have a high-end instrument and you want to show it as part of your interior, interior, what in the world saying? It's saying stand up. I'm freaking standing, you stupid watch. Stupid Apple watch, stupid, stupid. I am standing already. It does a lot of things, what it doesn't do well is show you time. So, we're gonna do Bulldog Stands. So here we have the main Mega Bulldog Stand. Comes in two packages. Looks like shipping is pretty much as much for this as uh, the whole stand. So I'm gonna detach How's this done? How do you do this? Now it's actually glued up. I don't, how does this work? How do you open it? Okay. Ah. Whoa. Now that's a solid piece of wood. I kind of feel like a Klingon. Oh, no, not Racht. Racht's actually something to eat, but whatever. You know what I mean? Looks like one of those Kling Too nerdy, even for you? No. Come on, looks like a bathlet. Isn't that what it's called? A Klingon bathlet? Okay, fine, it's a guitar stand. Ooh, look at this. Very nice, it'll screw in the bottom. In very high quality. Beautiful 17,000 layer Zebrano wood. Zebrano. Uh, I'm not. I'm, uh, Zebrano, Z Dog. No. C -c zebra, Zebra wood. Zebra. That's what I picked. Because I think it'll go nicely with my floors upstairs. Because these stands are not in the studio here. It would just be a stand in the corner, really beautiful, taking up a lot of space. This is a piece of furniture that you buy. It's not a practical stand for the studio. For in here, I have stuff like this. You know, a little plasticky thing. Doesn't take up a lot of space. This is to display, to display, to display, to, di to display your guitar in style. Whoa, this feels good. Ooh, it's my Nimbus 2000. We're throwing in Star Trek and Harry Potter. Nerd dizzles. I'm thinking the people that make this are probably nerds. Come on. Woo! No? Okay, fine. Any one of you had the same thought, so shut it. If you didn't, you're lame. What, too cool to watch Harry Potter? There we go, and feet. So, ah, uh, this is an unboxing. So in the box are these hex screws, which will probably go in the bottom. I actually have bits for this, so I can use my screw for everything. And here's the very, very, very high end. I mean, come, that looks like something from Star Trek, right? Can the camera please focus on this? 
This is a nice hanger in here. We have the felt thingies that go on it, which I think you can get in different colors, but black is nice. Packaging, flawless. This is just a big ass piece of wood again. This could be, this is like a doo -doo -doo, captain calling you. You know, it look, looks like that Star Trek communicator thing. Doo -doo -doo, captain, it's just oversized. It's like, doo -doo. no? Um, and here we have a beautiful gold bulldog logo. So let's see how we put it together. Comes with a owner's manual. Ah, well, three screws and then a thing on top. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. So I got a little drill. It's a little handy one, nothing major because we don't want to break anything here. Um, and we need this one. Perfect. Oh, the other way around. And we put the thing here. Oh, perfect. Yup. There we go. Okay, just roughly. Scheiße. Learn how to swear in German with me, Henning. Oh. oh, that's already nice. Of course, we want some feet on here. And at the bottom, you can see that they made little holes apparently for feet to go in, but maybe they just changed their mind because it comes with little rubber things. So we're going to put the rubber things on because I don't want it to slip around on my wooden floor. So we're gonna, maybe the holes are just indicators on where they would like you to put the rubber feet. So I put them everywhere. Perfect, so this should prevent it from slipping. Oh, that's stable. And now we have this, oh. Ah, you can adjust the width, w width, that's difficult to say. So, this is solid craftsmanship right here. So you can take this off, and probably even adjust the wideness, the width. And now we put the foam on the uh, felt, which again, Probably, I think, I saw that on a website, can come in different colors. So they're just little rings that you slip over here. Very nice. Really nice felt. Perfect. This is a little bit tighter than this. And now, how does this go? It just sticks in there. Is that true? So apparently this doesn't even get screwed in, it just hangs in there. Because you can't really screw it in from the back. It looks like you just stick it in there. Can still move. And I mean, why would anyone, you know, pull that out? I'm gonna not make any jokes about sticking it in there, pulling it out, blah, blah, blah. You know, because that would be immature. So well, let's look at it, huh? Hey, Mr. Dent, come here. Mr. Dent's coming to look at it. Hey, Dendy, come here. What do you think, Mr. Dent? Hmm? 
He's not interested at all. Look, what do you think? What? <laughs> Bye-bye. Color-wise, it works beautiful with this guitar, which is probably gonna be one that I might actually put in my living room. Now, what I wanna know is how does it look with smaller guitars? Because in all the pictures you see acoustic guitars and jazz guitars. So, let's put something else on there. So this is my baby, this is my modern eagle, which I would love to display in a beautiful way. No, that looks really freaking awesome. What is the cat doing? Mr. Dent? Hello? No, that is actually really pretty. Let's try a tally or something, it's something with an even smaller body. Oh my God, I just said tally, crap! Because this is actually an LSL T-Bone, not a Fender Telecaster. It is not, no, a Fender Telecaster. It is an LSL T-Bone. I'm not allowed to say Telecaster in respect to other brands. I have been warned. Stupid. So you see, can I, you can actually angle this to make the perfect hanger for your telly. Ah, T-Bone. What the fuck? So you decide, how does that look? I actually think it works beautifully. You of course get these in different colors. You get them in black and white, different woods. I just love the Zebrano. Zebrano. Zebra wood, come on, this is just awesome. Let's try, just for shits and giggles, we'll try a bass. So let's try this. Looks and works beautifully. If you have an original Hufner bass, you might want this. Let's go super crazy wide and long scale. Now this is an extra long scale six string bass. Does it even fit in here? Yes, it does. And there's still about 10 centimeters to the floor, so not a problem. And obviously this is as solid as it gets. Not a problem to put the bass in there. Come on, that looks freaking awesome. That's for a bass, this is actually a beautiful stand. This is a beautiful display, look at this. I love it. So at the end of the video, we're gonna go up into my living room and find a nice place for the stand uh, with the D'Angelico SS. Woo! For now, we're actually gonna unpack the wall dragons, which will go right on this wall because I'm running out of space for guitars. Huh, that's a problem I wanna have. Right? We just make space. So, I didn't know how much I would like this, but I think for my living room where there's no guitars whatsoever, and what the fuck's wrong with that? Come on. You have to have guitars everywhere. My girlfriend's like, well, she kind of likes that there's a room in the house without guitars. Well, not anymore, because I have this now. Wall dragons. I'm, I'm excited. Can you tell? So we have two of these puppies. There will be some fast forwarding here through the second one. I always say puppies because I'm into dogs and stuff. Mr. Dent, what are you doing? You're getting into stuff that you're not supposed to get into? Am I going to have to put the felt on on all of these? So you have the base plate here. Beautiful base plate. I wonder how this attaches. There's three holes in it. That's the back. That's about it. So it's got to go through the... Hmm. We have a single hole. Do a majiggy. Whoa. It's very nice, there's a big ass screw with it, which I don't, 
I don't need the wall anchor because my walls are made to have stuff screwed into them. And that's one big ass screw in it. Apparently it touches with one of these only. I mean, it's big. And um, you have your choice of attaching the little bulldog sticker, which I might not do because from here you can't see it anyway. And that shape is so iconic that you will be able to recognize bulldog anyway. So here's how you're supposed to attach it. Apparently you can choose from one of three holes. <laughs> Come on. Okay, it goes through here. This thing screws into the wall and then this simply goes onto it. However long. Ah, okay. This actually screws all the way through here. And then this uh, screws onto here. Oopsie, come on. So this screws onto here and you're done. Relatively simple and just one big ass screw that holds it all. And I think we'll just put that in the wall right now. But I have to put the rings back on. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You probably couldn't see that earlier. So we have this nubbly here and the felt rings come extra and you just put them on, which is actually kind of a nice system. No rubber, it's very soft. You just put them on like this. Let me go here so the camera knows where it's supposed to focus on. My mug, my face. If you're wondering what's that back there on the TV, I always get questions right now that is new girl. I just started season two. I don't know, probably for the third time. So more of this and more of this. We're gonna go with one more. That should be enough, huh? Tighter? I think that's good. Now yeah, maybe one more. Come on. Very nice quality build of the metal parts. So, this right here has a, come on, camera. This has a Torx head. So I'm using a Torx screw. I'm just gonna drill that into the wall. Very simple. But with a bigger screwdriver than this. And I need a 25, which of course, None of these little thingies that I have, the bit boxes, has a 25 left. So I might use this. Oh, that is a 25. Okay, good. Bigger screwdriver. Drill, uh, whatever you call it. So now, I want to find my position. Mm. I need height. is about there and on the outer panel in the middle I would think outer panel in the middle yep so it's not too far in the way of the 42 logo Isn't that pretty? I didn't use the wall anchor, but, but uh, these walls are uh, fermatil, so technically there's nothing that can happen. I also have wood panels behind them, so I can just screw anything in that. Usually you should use the wall anchor. Okay, so how cool does that look? Isn't that neat? Yeah, it makes the wall busier, but hey, these guitars need to go somewhere. So I'm gonna do this to the second one really fast. I 
gotta put the TV away a little bit. So, there you go. Bulldog, wall hanger, the wall dragon. A little bit more light. Very nicely done. And now that wall is not so empty anymore. Whenever you see back there, you're always like, is this guy even playing guitar? Archie. So now we're gonna go upstairs and check out what the SS, EXSS, will look like in my living room. Yeah, this is what it could look like. I'm, I'm actually excited because this is neat. This is a guitar player's living room, not a don't have any guitars in the living room because you know, it's the only room in the house where there's... Thanks to Bulldog Stand. Yeah. Um, and of course I can have a nice clean or whatever amp next to it so I could have a beautiful display here and always just be able to grab the guitar, play some tunes. Maybe put the amp over here. Oh. Let me see what that looks like. Let me check that shit out. Now nah, it's taking away from the stand a little bit. Don't know if that works with the heating element there. No, that looks like ass. I think it was better before. Yeah, so obviously there's a million options. Let's, let's look at a couple of them. You could have it in front of your knight. What do you mean you don't have a knight? Everyone's got a knight. Let's check it out in front of the night. Well, very clearly also a nice option to have it in front of your suit of armor. Because, you know, you need that. Um, so, I think that works nicely together if his sword actually... Dude, your sword's crooked. Put up your sword. Dude, you're not look... So this is a nice option to have it in front of your suit of armor. Um, let's try it in front of the window. Congo, that's a cat. Congo, that's a cat. Look at the stand. Come, look at the stand. Look at the stand. You wanna go outside and bark at the cat? Come on. Get the cat. Get the cat, Congo. Bye-bye. Well, very clearly beautiful option for those of us who have a window. So unless you're in prison or some kind of basement at your mom's, then I would have to say move out of your mom's basement. But if you have a window, I actually think this is my favorite spot. But I also want this guitar in the studio. Arrgh, difficult, difficult. Maybe I find a different guitar for here, but it really matches. It matches the floor, the guitar. And, you know, you think about this stuff because they, they become part of our lives. And right now it becomes part of the room. It becomes part of who I am. It becomes part of my house. And when I saw these at the, at the trade show in Frankfurt, I was like, yeah, whatever. But now I'm actually really excited to have the ability to display my nice guitars in, in the living room. Not for you, not for anyone. We, we don't really film up here. For me. And also, it's a very nice uh, stand to take pictures in. Because the guitar hangs freely, you can go to all sides, it's not leaning on anything. So this will be my new picture-taking stand right here, some light on it, and I'm done. I don't have to do this big setup. So, thank you, Bulldog, for giving me my new picture-taking stand. And now I go and edit this and unbox more stuff for you guys on YouTube.